Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel, The Light of Grace and This is Grace. It's time for another reading, but this will be different. My single love reading is gone. Somehow I just have to let it go. So I'm just led to not to just stop it. So now I'm being led to do a different one. And this is something that I have been contemplating for the last three weeks. This is uh, a general reading. Um, this there's some, gonna be some blessing that I'll be telling you that you're gonna be receiving and there's also situations and advices from the universe that will come based on whatever that comes here um, take what applies drop that's not it's a general reading and also uh, as you can see there's a glass here this glass has three papers that has numbers in it there's one to three I'm gonna get I'm gonna pick one of those for example I got number one it means I'm gonna pick one card per stacks if I get three it means I get three cards per stacks and those are the things that you need to know and I'm gonna say what's up happening <laughs> so, so corny <laughs> so what up? What's up? What's uh, up? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What's happening to you this August the craze? This is going to be it. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. All right. Let's see. Let's pick. I'm not looking. All right. Got it. cards per stack okay let's do let's do it all my cards has been shuffled already all I have to do is pick okay I'm not looking I think I I pick a little bit on the third one. <laughs> confession, confession. Okay. So, first one, you have love. Nice. Second one, you have friendship. Nice. And career opportunities. So, month of August, there's going to be love going on for the loveless people. It's a single one. There's a chance that you're going to be looking gorgeous and beautiful. That people are going to fall in love with you. Or that you're going to be attracting somebody special in your life. That's going to lead to a relationship. Or this month is that month for you to give yourself self-love. Yes. Friendship. There's going to be some fun. You're going to be hanging out with friends. Have fun. Just enjoy life. Or you're going to be meeting new friends that you can grow with. With the career opportunities for the one who's been looking for a job. This is a good sign. Let's say there's an opportunity might come your way. You might probably get a job. Or if you're looking for a race, there is that chance. And if you are looking for a promotion, this could be as also a sign that you might get that. So cross our fingers. So let's see. So there's going to be love, friendship, career opportunities. I hope it's going to be a fun reading. This is also shuffled like what I said before. Okay, first one. You have humor. Humor. 
second, you have relationships. Third, you have loneliness. How am I gonna fix this table to look like it fit everything? Okay. Let's talk about this loneliness. Because it has a dragging feeling to it. Okay. For a while, maybe for a while, for some of you, Aquarius, you've been feeling lonely. You're feeling sad. You're feeling alone. You don't have to be alone. Could be literally you're alone. That's why you're lonely. Or it could be you feel lonely inside because you're not on the same page with the people that you care about. Okay. Or maybe you're missing someone. You're missing a friend. You're missing your past relationship. Okay. Or you're lonely because you don't have a job. You're sad that you don't have a job. Okay. But what I'm getting with this loneliness, there is going to be a time this month that you're going to feel lonely. But with this humor as a contradicting energy, because this is lonely and this is humor. I chose to focus on the latter side of life. Okay, so these two are working together as a team, right? Shadow and light. Shadow, light. So what I'm saying is that this August, you're going to be going through the feeling of being lonely and feeling sad or feeling alone because of some other aspect of it, that because of some reason it could be love could be friendship it could be career right but with the humor here this is saying that the, this is saying that you have to focus on the lighter side of life as it says here meaning you i'm not saying you make fun of your situation but i'm saying that you stay positive think positive Feel positive. Don't sit on the energy of feeling lonely, feeling sad, feeling alone. Yes. If it's love, you feel alone, yes. You know, I understand you're feeling alone. Maybe because you really have so much love for this person and you're feeling alone because it's not going well. The relationship is not going well. Or maybe they broke up with you. Yes, I understand you're feeling alone. Because we all go through loneliness when we break up or separate or not in the same page with our person right the one that we care about friendship or our or relationship and then it affects us so much but here with the humor here just saying that stay positive okay don't dwell on the loneliness think about the happy times think about the the joke that you guys enjoy so much the conversation that you have so much or maybe you have to hang around with people that are lighthearted, people that are positive, so you can be have a little bit of that energy around you. But don't get stuck in a loneliness situation, lonely situation. Don't stay by yourself or don't feel alone, but instead hang out with people so you don't feel alone. Or think about the happy thoughts. You know, I feel that there's so much, it's about relationship here. Relationship is here. Now, if it's a friend, you had a fight with your friends. Not being on the same page. Okay? Maybe you miss them. Because you used to have so much fun and all of a sudden you had this fight. Not being on the same page. And then you feel alone because you miss your friend. But instead, think, think about all the fun things that you've done together. If it's a career, you feel lonely, then tell yourself, hey, I might, you know, who never know. This month, I might not get lucky. Maybe next month, I will get lucky. 
But the point in the the point that I'm trying to say here is that you have to stay in the lighter side. Okay? In the lighter side of life. Do not dwell on sadness, on anger, loneliness, feeling alone. No, do not dwell on that. Have fun. Hang out with right people. Hang out with people that are funny. Hang out with people that are positive. Do something that will make you enjoy the situation. Okay? Relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Then you hang out with people that you have some sort of relation, friendship wise or whatever, family. Have fun. I mean, have fun. Hang out with them. This is the month for you, Aquarius, to just chill. That's pretty much the word chill. Have a lighthearted energy. Enjoy with time for enjoy time with your friends. If you're not if you're having problem with your partner or your or love relationship person, what the heck am I saying? <laughs> if you're having a problem with the person that you care about that you have so much love with, so much love <laughs> or anyway, or married with or girlfriend with, boyfriend with doesn't matter. Be on the lighter side of that energy. Joke around. Act like a kid. Act like a kid. Act like uh, there is no mature person in the space. Have fun. Throw some pillow with each other. Throw water. Chase around each other at home. Play some bingo. Whatever. Whatever that your heart desires. Go to Disneyland. Stay away from the energy of this. Because with with this thing here, I know that I am never alone. With this thing here saying, with this thing saying here down here, you're not alone. You're never alone. The only thing when people are sad, they feel alone because they cannot share that emotions to with anyone. So they feel alone, but you are not alone. But if you share that feelings to someone that you trust, like a friend or a partner, then that eases the pain, that eases the discomfort. This relationship is a big because this is about communication. This is about connection. This is about having to have some sort of a connection to make things better for you. But also, this is about be on the latter side of life and instead of focusing on those dreadful energy of this loneliness feeling sad feeling alone okay first one Surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. This is the month that you have to release low self-esteem. I don't have to describe it so much. This is low self-esteem. You know what salt so, You know what low self-esteem is about, right? You deserve success, love, and abundance. Second, you have to surrender your addiction. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Okay, that's interesting. Third one, you have the surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Okay. 
sorry sorry i have to fix this so i can see the other cards too Aquarius, this is what I'm going to say. Be confident. Be confident that you can do anything that you put your heart to. Okay? Be confident that you deserve love, that you deserve abundance too. That you deserve success. This low self-esteem is going to take you down. Mm -hmm. It's going to take you down. If you don't surrender that. You got to give that up. You got to give that self-esteem. You got to give it up. And as far as surrender to success. You got to believe that you can be successful. In anything in life. That you can be successful in love. In any kind of love. Like relationship. Like husband and wife relationship. Girlfriend, boyfriend relationship. Boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend. Whatever relationship that, in that involves romantic love. Believe and have faith. That it's going to be successful. Have confidence. That you're going to be successful. In love same thing for friendship if you are if you have low self-esteem and if you feel like you not gonna be successful in finding friends what you're attracting are friends that are in a low vibe energy so again be confident. Release this self, self, low self-esteem. Think that you're going to be successful in any endeavor that you take in your life. And if you're going through addiction, then you got to believe that you're going to be successful, that you're going to go through this, that you're going to be able to fight this addiction, whatever this addiction that might be. It could be addiction to boba drinks, like me. <laughs> Joke. Yes, right? You have to be confident that you're going to be successful in releasing and removing and getting rid of this addiction in any shape or form. Maybe the reason why you're hooked up on this addiction because you're feeling sad and depressed. Maybe you have depression. And so you're thinking maybe alcohol or food or drugs can help you ease the pain. Can bring this humor into your life by hooking yourself up on this. But that's not going to bring you success. No way, Jose. It's not going to help you find a good relationship. No way, Jose. So this August, you have to surrender your addiction. You have to believe that you're going to be successful in anything that you have your hearts on. And you have to have confidence that you can be successful in anything that you put your hearts on. That you're confident enough to stand by yourself. Face the crowd. Face the person that you care about. Face your friend. That you are a person that, that needs to be respected. That needs to be loved. That needs to be appreciated. But sometimes, here's the thing. You don't need approval from those people to feel better for yourself. To feel better. Okay? But you have to stand, as I was saying, not exactly to wait for them to say, you're pretty, you're beautiful, I love you, and you're going to feel better. No, what I'm trying to say is that you're able to stand on the ground by yourself, 
have the feeling that you've been appreciated, having the confidence inside you, and having to believe that you can do anything for yourself, that you can stand there in addition to what they're going to tell you. But in truth, you don't have to hear them. You don't have to get it from them. It has to come from you. It has to come from you to overcome addiction, to be happy, to be successful in love, in friendship, in career, or any other aspect of life. Let's see what Tara will tell us. First, you have the Five of Cups. Okay, same as the loneliness. You have the Moon. Same as the self-esteem. Same as the self-esteem. And what is the other one? Yeah, same as the self-esteem. The third one, you have the Ten, ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Let me just fix this quickly so I can see everything. Sorry guys. Can you see that? Ah. Okay, with this five of cups in here and the loneliness, they kind of go together. Okay. And this August, this tells me that you're going to go through this, some sort of sadness here. Feeling alone. And as this moon too, look at the girl. She looks like she's alone. She's sitting in the dark under the moon, feeling fearful, feeling scared, feeling sad. And with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, feeling not abundant, feeling incomplete, maybe worthless even, not feeling unstable, not having stability financially. Maybe you're sad because you don't have enough money to bring stability in your home front, in your home space. And you feel and you you are not thinking that you're gonna be ever successful with that. And here with the moon in here, you're feeling angry, upset, sad, you're having so much emotion, and you're leaning towards addiction. And addiction could be anything, it could be food, alcohol. Too much gaming, too much um, partying, whatever. That somehow it's just not fixing. It's not giving you the lighter side of life. It's just covering it and shielding it temporarily. And then you come back with this moon energy. And then you have this when you're feeling alone. You're feeling sad and depressed and maybe even resentful. And that kind of energy takes it gives you this low self-esteem energy. And maybe it's a relationship issue. Maybe you have a low self-esteem issue in regards to your relationship. And it's making you feel sad because you don't have the the confidence and the courage to 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 bring up yourself into this connection. You know what, Aquarius? What I'm going to say? 
surrender low self-esteem as the universe and the divine say surrender your addiction surrender to success and stay in the lighter side or focus on the lighter side of life to not be drowned in this loneliness energy this depressing energy okay don't stay in the lighter side of life and always think that you are important that you matter you just have to be confident enough that you can you have to feel confident within yourself that you can change your life to a successful one that you can be successful that you can be happy that you can be um, appreciated that you deserve love friendship and career you deserve that these are some stuff that's gonna come your way all right the divine is giving you love because these are your what you're going through these are blessings these three here are blessings you're gonna be blessed with career you're gonna be blessed with French and you're gonna be you're gonna be blessed with love so these are the problems but this is what the universe is giving you love friendship career you love you have friends you have career or you're gonna have career you just got to have to have faith with love and friendship this is your reading Aquarius I thank you so much I'm sending you lots of love and light bye bye